New Jersey, Mr. Garrett, Chairman of the Capital Markets Subcommittee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, I think it's fair to say that all of us in Congress, myself included, are outraged at the activity that occurred over at Wells Fargo, that I know you're very familiar with, over a number of years. The, the entire incident now has a number of people clamoring for regulators to be tough when they finalize the incentive compensation rules under Section 965 of Dodd-Frank, which I'm sure you're familiar with. The current proposal is intended to limit compensation to financial firms and includes provision that would require something called clawbacks of compensation for certain high-level executives that could go back as far as seven years. You know, but like a lot of things for the other side of the aisle, and it depends on just what executives we're talking about here when this happens. And so let me give you one example. You, Mr. Secretary, you joined Citigroup back in 2006, and by 2008, you became the chief operating officer of the Citigroup Alternative Investment Unit, which at that time managed $54.3 billion. Then the Alternative Investment Group began to do what? Hemorrhage money that year, and by the end of 2008, Citigroup had laid off more than 50,000 employees. The stock price dropped by 75%. And then, of course, they were bailed out by who? The American taxpayers to the tune of $45 billion. Then, to add insult to injury, last year the SEC announced that two Citigroup affiliates, including the one where you were the chief operating officer, um, agreed to pay $180 million to do what? To settle charges that your unit defrauded investors. So, you were the senior officer at Citigroup, unit which lost money, that contributed to the bank's near collapse, and which later was charged with defrauding investors. Talk about a legacy. Was any of your compensation at Citigroup ever clawed back? That's a yes or no. Congressman, um, I am proud of my record implementing financial reform. So was any hard of, for, I'm not asking that, Mr. Secretary. Let's just get to the question. I saw how you did not I, answer the chairman's I, I, question. I, I, Simple question. Was any of your money, the, your, your seven-figure compensation packer, yeah. ever clawed back for the time that you were the chief operating officer? The, you the, know the, the, the issues regarding my compensation have been well worked over. So uh, then it's an I, easy answer, I, Mr. Secretary. I, 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 I've answered many questions. So can I, you I was paid in a way that is well understood and disclosed. So I'm telling you that my service is in this role Mr. Secretary, has been to make sure that we put rules question. in place that work uh, f uh, going Mr. forward. Mr. Secretary, simple question. You, don't have to you were paid. Con your unit was defrauded uh, in Congressman, I, 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 was um, any of your money ever clawed? I, I was not subject to any action of any kind because okay. I, no so one has ever asked any questions that led to that, and so the or will they? See, Mr. Secretary, simple. The answer is no. None of your money was compromised. And, and, and let's remember what my role was it, it, yes, when you I was were there. The chief I, operating yeah, officer I, 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 was I was responsible for administrative activities, not for designing risk products. So let, let's just remember what my role was. You were a senior executive. Would the proposal with the pros incentive compensation rules capture or impact any of your compensation if those rules were in place back then? I am not aware of uh, anything th that uh, it w relates to me personally, but I also am not directly involved in writing the rules, so I can't tell you exactly where they are. I have urged the regulators should the to have rules broad be and such, tough rules. Should the rules be such that yeah. senior executives, and Elizabeth Warren doesn't make differentiation between COOs and CEOs, she says all senior executives I, I think, should have I think clawbacks. That the, the, Is she wrong? The, the, the questions that have been asked in designing these rules have been, uh, how do you align incentives for risk taking? That's not the question. We that, can have that, another five no, minutes. That, 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 is, that is what the driving issue is. How do you make sure yeah. that there's not an incentive well, here's one. Okay, let me ask you this. Risk here's here's an alignment. And that's when, the right question. Mr. That's Secretary, what we've been pushing. Mr. Secretary, thanks. Here's one in the alignment. When you left there, despite all the hemorrhaging and the taxpayer bailout, you received something called a bureaucratic parachute. You had a promise in your contract that you would be paid $944,000 if you took a high-level position in the U.S. government. Hey, I guess you got that, didn't you? Was that a payment contingent upon you doing and your unit doing a good job? Does that contingent upon the fact whether or not there was any fraud in your unit, or did you just get paid regardless? Congressman, my compensation was based on my performance at the job. The only thing that that provision said was I didn't well, lose my last of your, year's pay. The performance of your job, the company lost 75% yeah. stock. It went down. Uh, Congressman, 100%. you don't know what my job was. 
Well, you? yeah, I do. It has, it's in, in the disclosure as to what you are. You were the coordinator for right. all the units, oversee coordination between operations, technology, human resources, legal, financial, regional departments. Seems like you had your finger on every single aspect of the company. I guess you're telling that you're not responsible for anything. So, Mr. Chairman, I'll end with this. I want to make it clear for the record that so long as you are a high-ranking Democratic official, you can make all the money that you want on Wall Street, but if, you pl if you're not one of them, then you have to play by the rules if the company collapses for everybody. Time of, time of the gentleman has expired. The chair